What it do, gods and goddesses. So I wanted to share something with those of you that's on your spiritual journey. A couple of months ago, I was watching this video and this guy was talking about dying of self. And I was like, what the fuck is that? So I went to looking into it like I do everything else. And it's in the Bible and it basically is the dying of the ego. When I was doing my research, I came across this website that had a bunch of different quotes from different people and their interpretation of what dying of self meant. And I felt like now is a great time to share it because it's Scorpio season. So here it goes. If you are ever going to be an ambassador in the hands of a God of glorious and powerful grace, you must die. You must die to your plans for your own life. You must die to your self-focused dreams of success. You must die to your demands for comfort and ease. You must die to your individual definition of the good life. You must die to your demands for pleasure, acclaim, prominence, and respect. You must die to your desire to be in control. You must die to your hope for independent righteousness. You must die to your plans for others. You must die to your cravings for a certain lifestyle or that particular location. You must die to your own kingship. You must die to the pursuit of your own glory in order to take up the cause of the glory of another. You must die to your control over your own time you must die to your maintenance of your own reputation. You must die to having the final answer and getting your own way. You must die to your unfaltering confidence in you. You must die. I'll be leaving the reference of the source in the caption for those of you that's interested to look into this further. This definitely changed my perspective because when it was talking about you must die to your own plans for your life, that really hit me because I realized the purpose that I have here in my path, I'm not allowed to make plans. None of us are really. We're allowed to make small plans like what am I going to eat? What am I going to wear? But when it comes to the big plans, nah, because that shit already been planned out. You already signed a soul contract. So you just really here living the script. So something for y'all to keep in mind, especially those of you all that's battling the need to control your journey, your purpose, and the direction in which your life is going. Thank y'all for listening, and y'all have a good day. Ashe.